PHP – Dynamic Web Pages PHP is a programming language that is used to create dynamic web pages. According to web statistics, PHP powers over 75% of the modern web. Let's take a look at how PHP works. PHP is often used to create administrative interfaces for websites, such as the WordPress dashboard. But it is also used to populate the front end of a website with content. PHP is a server-side scripting language, which means that it is interpreted by the server and the results are rendered in the browser. To see a simple example of what PHP can do, let's take a look at the HTML code from the previous lessons, but use PHP to change the color of the heading element. The first thing that you will notice is that the file extension of the document has changed from HTML to PHP. This tells the server that the document contains PHP code. Then, any PHP code that you want to add to the document needs to be wrapped in PHP tags. So in this example, the PHP code at the top of the file is being wrapped in PHP tags and tells the server to execute this code as PHP. Here, a variable called color has been created, which stores the value of the color query string parameter from the dollar underscore get global array if it exists, or sets it to red if it doesn't exist. Later, the value of the color variable has been added to the style attribute of the heading element. You'll see this code is also wrapped in PHP tags and uses the echo function to output the value of the color variable. Finally, a link has been added to the document which changes the value of the color query string parameter to blue. You will notice that the code which detects the query string and sets up the color variable has been added to the document before the rest of the HTML elements. This is because this PHP code needs to be run before the HTML elements are rendered in the browser. Additionally, you will see that the new header color is output inside PHP tags as an inline style. This is because PHP can't change the CSS file, so the only way to change the color of the heading element is to add the color as an inline style. Finally, take note of the use of the query string on the anchor tag to pass data from one page to another. This is a common way to pass data from one page to another using PHP. At the same time, you'll see the button is changed to an anchor tag. This is done to ensure that the HTML is used semantically. The button element is generally used to trigger an action, such as submitting a form or triggering a JavaScript function. In this case, the anchor tag is used to link to a page, which just happens to be the same page being rendered. This is also the first time you might have seen an if statement. If statements are used to check if a condition is true, and if it is, run the code inside of the if statement. This is known as a conditional statement. Both PHP and JavaScript support conditional statements. In fact, many features of PHP and JavaScript are similar. However, there are some key differences between the two languages, and it's important to learn and understand these differences. To learn more about how to use and develop with PHP, you can visit the following online resources. The PHP Getting Started Guide in the official PHP documentation. The PHP documentation itself on the PHP website and the PHP Handbook article on Free Code Camp.